It was in grade six. They had this um, program just through the school called Green. It was like Green. Uh, they had this this program where they were doing recycling and that sort of thing. And that's where it started in grade six. Was I knew you know environment was important, and just to have a program like that is when I started caring about the environment and learning about science and having an interest in it. I think what really helped me get into science was having the. Um, the laboratories, the, the labs, because that's the fun stuff. That's the fun science stuff is the hands-on things and seeing it, seeing it in action, you know. And I think with places that don't have, you know, good laboratory facilities, really, you know, uh, has an impact on the students because they aren't going to know the fun science things, the interesting things that, you know, they should know. I was quite interested in uh, math and sciences when I was in high school, and. Right out of high school, I knew I wanted to get into engineering. You know, I'm, I want to solve problems and I want to do things for people, and you know, and so I knew I wanted engineering for sure. And I took uh, my first year engineering, which is the equivalent to two years, um, through the science program at NORPAC. Then I also took one year of uh, engineering physics at the University of Saskatchewan. I thought it was really great have, having my first year engineering in La Ronge. Uh, through the NORPAC science program it was nice being home. You know, my family was there, and that was, you know, what I was used to was living in northern Saskatchewan. So I think it was great having that first year complete uh, in White and Orange. Um, in regards to the environmental radiation technician program, that is just a great program. I went to the University of Saskatchewan. Um, two years after I took the program in La Ronge. And that was quite difficult, just having that transition from the north um, to the city. You know, I didn't really know what to expect. And um, the school, the academic year didn't turn out as well as I wanted it to, just because it had been so different. I think having, you know, knowing a bit about um, living in the city possibly would have helped. You know, having somebody, you know, maybe show me around or show me things at the university and having a role model do that. But yeah, my first year was quite difficult and I ended up moving back to La Ronde where I completed that degree program. Uh, the second time around when I've come back to the University of Regina here, you know, I'm a little bit older and I have, um, you know, I know what I need to do to complete my degree. And so it hasn't been too difficult. I know I'm far farther away from home and that makes it hard sometimes. I chose Regina because it's the only university uh, in Saskatchewan that offers environmental engineering program. At the U of S they have civil engineering, but I was more interested in the uh, environmental aspect of it because I had had experience um, through, I was a summer student uh, for Cameco, so I knew I wanted to do environmental work. I was a summer student for uh, Cigar Lake Project for two summers. I worked for the environmental department and just as a summer student, and when I wasn't sure exactly where I was going to go, I took the 13-month uh, environmental radiation technician program. I definitely wanted to work, uh, do environmental science, and I wanted to be a permanent chemical employee, so I took the program. And uh, but then I wanted to go back to university. I knew I wanted to know more about the environment, and so I thought I'd go back to university. As an environment technician, we collected samples, soil samples, air samples. Um, we end up going out in the boats and the quads and skidoos. It was really a great job. I loved every aspect of it. With the environment department, we did a lot with uh, waste reduction and separating waste and just minimizing um, any environmental impact was really important to me. We were always very busy, you know, but uh, everybody who was in the department, we always enjoyed what we did and we always saw, you know, that we were doing good things. Just the experience and going through some of the technician work has significantly, like, has helped me a lot um, completing my degree. Um, I am being funded and sponsored through Chemical Corporation, and that has made, you know, my life so easy that I don't have to worry so much about finances. You know, everybody has to worry, but I mean, not so much as anybody else. I don't have to have a part-time job, um, and so. That's enabled me to do a lot better in university, just having that support. When I'm done my degree, I'll be going back to work with Cameco. Um, during my work terms, I was able to see some of the visits, some, some of the uh, roles that I'll be doing when I'm done. So that has been really nice to have that transition. When I go back, I have an idea, you know, of 
the things that I'll be required to do. Um, my supervisor is also took the engineering program, environmental engineering program here. So it's nice to have a mentor. You know, my supervisor has done this, and and uh, to see some of the work that he does that I, I'll be doing someday. You really have to set your goals, and you really have to, you know, find something that interests you, and that's where you need to, you know, look at and look into it a little bit further.